daily guide this morning says KK Sam dead. NLA GRA hits jackpot. Four more for Nana, according to Shatawale. NDC steps up anti register games. And Zoom Lion fights COVID 19 in Upper West Region. Chief prays for Mahama at Cemetery. Okay, we'll, we'll get into the details. BNFT government procures 520 specialized rice tractors to boost production. The Bank of Ghana, MPC, and Deficit Financing, a feature written by former Finance Minister Mr. Sek Tepe. You should find it and read it. Um, paying defunct investment banks' clients, Sec in talks with Finance Ministry to secure comprehensive solution. And Bank of Ghana must sanction banks for poor customer service. Dr. Echiahine is a banking expert and he's sharing his thoughts there. The Ghanaian Times. COVID-19 update. Tertiary institutions reopen today as government airlifts dis distributes PPEs to schools nationwide. NLA GRA partner to conduct VAT raffle and varsities of education Cape Coast to undergo fumigation disinfection by Zoom line. Former President Mahama urges government to withdraw public uh, universities bill, but government disagrees. And I'm sure you've heard UTAG. Uh, filing that petition to say their president is behaving like a puppet and they will not support him. The Finder newspaper, closure of 53 fund management firms, 90,000 claims hit 12.56 billion Ghana cities. Over 50% of claims validated modalities for payment out in the coming weeks, according to Reverend Obami Tete, who is the boss at the Security and Exchange Commission. Government gives NCC 50 vehicles and 2.8 17 million uh, Ghana cities for public education on COVID-19. And this is a, a story that I'm particularly proud of because I raised the issue here. We discussed it here extensively with my colleagues, Bella and Etanam, and today we're getting this. So forget about the insults. As for the insults, they will come. What is right is right. What is wrong is wrong. Government distributes PPEs to schools ahead of reopening today. Government imports 520 multi-purpose mini tractors for peasant farmers. The Daily Graphic... President assures nation of enhanced protocols. That's what we're reading on the front page of the daily graphic. And also, <clears throat> sorry about that, safety measures in place to protect students. Wearing of masks now mandatory. Police to enforce directive active COVID-19 cases uh, up to 7,652. Also, reopening of schools today. Government deploys health personnel to institutions and uh, Oman Bapa, a new TV series, goes live on Facebook. Graphic uh, is announcing for your attention and for your entertainment and relaxation. Borgam, uh, Pomacom Road Progress uh, steadily. Also, the dispatch, the, the daily dispatch, Ben Epson's own, says the 30 seats MP, NPP won by less than 2,000 votes in 2016. is a comprehensive list. Uh, there, 64% of unopposed MPP candidates are ministers of state. So uh, there you have a parliament in danger. MPs with coronavirus still attending parliament, according to the majority leader who had earlier told us that um, the MPs uh, do not have, um, COVID was not in parliament. Uh, Mr. Samson, he, Honorable Samson, he had raised issues and had asked for parliament to shut down. So the conundrum is, would they or would they not? How would that impact on the government business? The National Sports College sets up COVID-19 isolation center. NLA to GRA to launch uh, the VAT raffle. My guest this morning is the Honorable Member of Parliament for the Adaklu constituency, uh, Governs Kwame Agboja. He is the uh, Messiah of the people of Adaklu and he will shake his head. We know, we are used to it and so uh, each time we say it, we will uh, expect that he will shake his head like that but the people are grateful to him and also Honorable Pius Enam Hajde is a Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic. Gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, Mr. Hughes. Good, morning. Yes. good, to, good to have you. Good How was the weekend, Pius? Oh, the weekend was good. Uh, mm. We are grateful to God for his continued message. Mm. Uh, so it was good. Come yes, uh, it was uh, Okay, by this grace, but scary mm. knowing that uh, COVID is not sparing, sparing us even in other clubs. So mm. uh, it's uh, something we should all take seriously. Are you scared to, to be in Parliament now that we are learning that your, some of your members have COVID and refusing to, to go into quarantine? Are you well, scared? I, I, I agree that uh, we should all sacrifice. I, mm. I guess you are all sacrificing. Mm. But not at the peril of your life, because you are as good as to the state as uh, you are alive. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, what I was shocked about was when the majority leader sought to give the impression that a certain number of our colleagues in, and also journalists mm. and staff tested positive, known to them, mm. certain level of leadership. And they can see them around, mingling with us, and refusing to self-quarantine. And I thought that was very irresponsible. First of all, if those people, I know it's, a, it's about health record. Mm -hmm. um, if they are refusing to self-quarantine, mm -hmm. they should let us know so that when I see him or her coming, I go the other way. But that is as good as telling you that the man has it. Uh, of you, course, you of course. You don't want to, uh, uh, you know, push stigma. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure uh, there will be any stigma. I, I mean, I met the health minister a couple of times mm -hmm. uh, last week, uh, though not in close. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. Rimo came that he's sick, I said I could have been the one who is sick of uh, of COVID. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't see it as a an issue of any special thing. Mm -hmm. UK Prime Minister, is sick. anybody could could catch uh, right. COVID right. and maybe the communication around it initially was, mm. was uh, unnecessary. But he's, he's not well. Okay. He's recovering good. Uh, mm. The good news is he's recovering. We wish the same for all those who, who are tested positive. But the issue in Parliament is, is quite uh, un unacceptable. Should Parliament if, if, shut down to well, protect I, all of you? I've, I've made this uh, comment before. Mm. I've I was one of the first <coughs> people to call for a shutdown of Parliament because mm. all those times, I thought we were only going because we were... Uh, uh, NVP wanted the CI to mature. <laughs> in any case, the CI is... You can't put it simply like uh, CI is matured. There's no urgent business as we, we speak in Parliament. I can't see any urgent business. Mm. And uh, university bill is not urgent. The universities will shut down because that bill is not passed. Mm. Uh, land bill, you can say, yes, it's quite uh, critical, but mm. I'm sure we can deal with it at any time. There's no urgent business in Parliament for us to... There's no uh, loan agreement that if we don't pass, mm. COVID cannot be fought or anything. There is absolutely no urgent business in mm. Parliament as far as I'm concerned. Mm. If you, but the point is, if you shut down pa Parliament, for how long? So I, I leave that to uh, leadership to, to okay. work out. But the fact that mm. there are colleagues, journalists, staff mm. working positive in Parliament mm. without me knowing who they are, I, I feel is, is irresponsible. Do you think you should have been told? Of course. Of course. For all you know, I was, I was, I was getting close to them. I mean, we make, you know Parliament. Right. It's difficult to do... You, you mingle. Uh, hey, yeah, you the mingle. corridors are not meant for... I mean, we all go through the same doors. We all should sit on the uh, same chairs. Mm. We, we when we go to Parliament, you see the way we are. We go mm. to your, uh, your colleagues' your uh, colleague uh, desk place, yeah. and, I mean... Sometimes even swap seats. Ex and all. Exactly, exactly. So it's, it's, not, it's not safe. It's not about fumigating or cleaning the desk before I come. That is what the pro problem I have with this government attitude towards even reopening of the schools. Mm. I am saying the science doesn't tell us that the schools that have been shut down for three months have got COVID there. Mm -hmm. Why spending money doing that? When we call, we say that, test the kids before they go to school today. But the, the, the health economists will also tell you that it doesn't make meaning to test everybody in mass. No, we are not testing everybody Be in mass. Because, because then, if you zone in and you do enhanced contact tracing and you find that, okay, for example, at TV3 or your, maybe GBC, you have one person in such a department, then you start testing. You yes, so, so the good thing well. is that only final years, people writing exams are going. Test them. We are not saying test everybody at Accra, Accra. Just mm -hmm. test the, 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 the staff and the student. Because, you see, in, in, if you spend even a billion dollars as fumigating the schools, which mm -hmm. I, as far as I'm concerned, there's no COVID mm -hmm. in schools that have been shut for, for three, man, uh, three months, because we are told it doesn't last for se more than seven days, mm -hmm. Spend that money, test the few people and the, 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 the staff who are coming to school. You would have done a better job. Now they are bringing you to the school. Mm -hmm. You fumigated <coughs> a school, which is, in fact, they call it a, 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 a disinfection. A disinfection. Right. What is the meaning of this? It means that there's an infection. Is there an infection in an empty school which has been closed down for three months? I think it's, it's, a, it's a waste. Uh, or somebody can only say that they did that big simply because it's an opportunity to get contracts to uh, that, that, party that's, people. That's like unfair that. to say. Why is it unfair? We're, Where is the we're, science? We're trying to find, fight a virus. Yeah, you, see, you see, there's a difference between night try, trying to fight a virus and when you see something obvious. We sat here last week and mm. I asked you, what is the science behind COVID? The science behind COVID, you can check Lancet, says that mm. the, 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 the virus is self-terminating. Right. In other words, if you leave it on surfaces, mm. after some time, God willing, it will die off. And it takes just about seven days. Mm. And I'm saying schools that have been shut down for three months, there's no COVID there. What so is, so what you else? don't see the mass disinfection 
you don't see the wisdom. No, you see, if they were disinfecting a day after the school, kids have gone to school, mm. I would have seen some sense in it. Because somebody would have, might have taken it there. Okay. It's like just sewing your shirt, mm. beautiful, or just uh, this shirt. Mm. After you've uh, washed, ironed, and put it down, you take it to the laundry again. When you knew you haven't even worn it, there's no stain in it. Okay. Five. Yeah. The, um, the, let's, talk, let's start from Parliament, and then, you know, we'll pick some of the issues that Kwame mentioned. The, the fact that colleagues and uh, MPs and, uh, if you like, staff of Parliament, some have contracted a virus, and yet... The people they work with are not in the know, and they say, look, this, this doesn't look good for us. But we are trying to measure the, the secrecy that patients have, the privacy that they have, as against the public knowledge that must be there. What do you say? Well, first of all, mm. let me say a good morning to the cherished viewers of uh, 3v3 mm. uh, this morning, and to you and to my colleague here. I think that I can agree with Honorable Agboja to the extent that mm. Some, knowing somebody's COVID status rather helps to fight stigmatization and not to enhance stigmatization. And so the argument about stigma mm. does not go in favor of a non-disclosure. Mm. But I think that all over the world and in conformity with uh, client-doctor relations, mm. it is always important that the individuals who are involved mm -hmm. announce their COVID statuses and not leadership of the various organizations or not even the medical doctors. Mm. That will be a breach of the doctor-client relation that exists. What if they fail to do like they're doing now? Come, I'm saying that. That is what it is. Mm. We are speaking today, mm -hmm. and I get the point clearly, and that's why leadership comes in. And that is why I'm disappointed that the member of parliament, instead of encouraging his colleagues mm -hmm. and his, uh, the people who know their results mm -hmm. and not the generality of everybody knows everybody's mm -hmm. results, mm -hmm. but individuals know their results. My disappointment is that Honorable Guja, instead of appealing to his colleagues he works with in parliament mm -hmm. to follow the trend that we know is happening all over the world, mm -hmm of persons who have tested positive, saying that they have tested positive, he decides to push the blame onto some group of persons he calls leadership mm. and says that he, is, he feels that it is irresponsibility on the part of the leadership. Mm. What's your difficulty? I if think the, that if the, there can be... the leadership know the people who have the virus. I mean, the Speaker of Parliament can say, don't come to Parliament, and that's law. You won't go, you won't... Well, I'm them. saying to you that... So if the leadership know... And Kwame Agboja, for example, doesn't know. Kwame Agboja may be appealing in a vacuum. But those who know no, can it, say, it, it, Mr. A, don't come. No, I'm saying that Kwame Agboja is giving us the impression that okay. there is reasonable suspicion, in fact, that he has heard comments from leadership mm -hmm. of parliament, of persons who are in authority in parliament, mm -hmm. who have said that if you have COVID and you know you have, isolate. Right. Yes. Okay? That's what they're saying. Yeah. I'm saying that there's an opportunity to appeal to those colleagues of his mm. that in the first place, you need to isolate mm. or you need to let us know your COVID status as individual members of parliament. And we are talking about the high office of a member of parliament. Mm. People who must lead by example themselves, mm. not just the leadership. I don't have a problem with requiring something of the leadership. Mm. How about the individual responsibility that members of parliament themselves have? Mm. And I'm saying that I would rather that Honorable Abuja announced his COVID status rather than the leadership saying that COVID... Uh, Honorable, what if Honorable, Honorable Abuja contradicts the leadership? Say they even say that, okay, Honorable Abuja... And I'm using him because we okay. are here. Oh, it's but, just an example. But he doesn't have COVID. He doesn't. I'm, I'm sure that he mm. doesn't. I don't know his status, well, but I'm sure that I, he doesn't. Don't know he doesn't look you. like he has COVID. <laughs> so, uh, I'm saying that... You can't see COVID I'm saying by that, looking at someone. <laughs> well, I, I agree with you too. Yeah. <laughs> the point is that if, for instance, and I'm using him again just as an example, mm. leader says that, okay, or speaker says that, Honorable Abuja has. He says, no, 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 I don't have. So why are we? So for me, the crux of the matter is actually telling his and advising his, his colleagues mm. in parliament mm. and the people they work with. But I think that it is quite, uh, if you may, mm. 
disingenuous to want to shift the blame. I'm not saying that leadership does not have a leadership role to play in all of these matters. Leadership and vision. But, but it is important in this matter for purposes of contradiction and all that that I said. Even if, they, if it was a two-tier appeal that, okay, MPs, let's do the honorable thing. Let us lead. Mm. And then you proceeded and even said, okay, leadership, do this, do that. I would have understood it. Okay. But for me, whether parliament sits or not, mm. it's a decision that parliament will take. You know that parliament, they are masters of their own rules. Right. But he says there's no so, urgent business at this point. But I'm saying that it is a decision for them, members of parliament. Okay. What I know is that we must all sacrifice at this crucial moment for our country. Mm. Medical doctors who see COVID patients are working with them. Mm. With the correct keeping of protocols, mm. you guys in the media, you continue to serve your country and provide mm. us the information. Mm. I would challenge members of parliament that they cannot run away from their responsibility and duties to the state mm. just on the on the back of the COVID-19 excuse. If they don't feel safe. I'm saying that they, they, there are protocols. Mm. We all must, we come here every day right. to, do, to do work. Mm. We have to keep a social distancing. We have to wear our masks. Mm. We have to sanitize. There are things that we can do to still keep the machinery of state running. So for example, Pais, the they sitting arrangement in parliament itself does not encourage social distancing. If you see how the MPs are bunched together, it doesn't nope. encourage social distancing. If I'm a member of parliament and I feel scared, like some George said, noticed that he would be there until the testing is done and we know everybody's status. If I am there and you're asking me to sacrifice, and to the extent that even though parliament is a master of its own rules, its work, whether it stops working or not, affects the executive in which you're, you're, you're a member of. We should, we should strike that fine line. Well, I am disappointed that the member of parliament actually has boycotted parliament on the excuse that testing of members of parliament has not happened and i'll come Pr to test proud to that proud to that he boycotted it proud to the testing yes and not, since the testing has been done he's been in parliament well, but even then there's not been compulsory mass testing mm. my understanding mm. mps have been encouraged to test and many of them have tests mm. but i'm saying that for me it is actually irresponsible for an mp to boycott parliament mm. just because there is COVID. It's like so? saying that you boycott work here mm. in, in, in TV3 that until test is done. You are in service to this country. Mm. You are paid, you were elected by the good people of your constituency. You are paid for whether you choose to boycott parliament because of COVID or not. Mm. And in any case, just dovetail it, in, dovetail it into the testing. Mm. Testing is not vaccination. You can actually be tested here now in this set. Mm -hmm. By the time we leave and get to your car, you, are, you have contracted the virus. You could have contracted it. Yeah. So testing is not immunization. So this fast and uh, 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 fixation that people have mm. on testing, testing, testing. I'm not saying that testing is not good. Testing is good. Okay. It gives you a broad picture wait, of what wait, is happening. Wait, wait, it helps coming. your planning mm -hmm. and so on. So to argue that, oh, let's do mass testing. Mm. What frequency are we talking about? What frequency? Right now, there are about 200,000 persons who are just going to go to this first, first phase, the, okay. the, 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 the students, universities okay. mm. and tertiary colleges that have resumed. Okay. There are about 200,000, not just the students. There mm. are the teachers, there are the non-teaching staff, about 200,000. Mm. So you want to test them. What is the regularity, the frequency? Mm. You're going to test them every day, every week, mm. every month? Mm. What, what or the every hour, what, what because the even within the hour, mm. there can be contraction. What's the status of the, now? What's now, the status of the RDT that the KNUST lab uh, <coughs> designed? We're told that it was going to the FDA, and that it will come. I'm giving you more time because I want you to, to to know that the mind of government on this one. What was the status of the RDT? Do we know? Well, when, it's my knowledge that the RDT is still undergoing some validation work. Mm at the Food and Drugs Authority mm. uh, so that we can be sure of uh, the reliability of the RDT. Okay. So it is still work in progress. Mm. Mm. But the RDT, mm. uh, in itself, by my understanding of the RDT, uh, you don't want to get any false positives or false negatives. And RDTs all over the world can just give a broad indication. Mm. Okay? And then we can do the molecular testing. I, I, we have argued strongly, and we, are, we keep pushing that mm. we should get the RDTs to 
give us a basket mm. cases. Mm. Then we can do the molecular testing to even find out. Okay, as a first from, step. From, that's a first step. Okay. But the point is that for me, testing may be desirable. It's good. It comes at a cost anyways. In any case, you recall that our colleagues from Kuwait, mm. who came not too long ago, mm -hmm. we were given results from Kuwaiti Kuwait, authorities right. that they had tested negative. Right. But they came to Ghana, we tested them, and some of them still tested positive. In transit. So, mm -hmm. so, so that's the point. So this okay. more far, but the, again, because that it is a waste. Up, up for me now. That mm. is a waste that fumigation has happened. I think that Honorable Gujam may not have followed activities across the globe mm. in fighting COVID-19. In fact, there's science, there's data mm. about fumigation. I do agree with you that the virus can self-terminate after some time. Right. But you cannot tell. Every day you sanitize this them. In fact, right. after every program, we'll, we'll sanitize you sanitize. It. it is not because you know that virus is here. Mm. It's a precautionary measure you take. Right. So before you go into a school, the precautionary measure, because you may not know who came into the school, the fact that the schools have been closed officially mm. to students doesn't mean that people do not go. If you go into Legon, on a daily basis, people come into Legon. But if we're using your analogy that the fumigation or disinfection should be done as in, as in every now and then, once we disinfect before the students go to school, we must continue with the disinfection while they're in school. Do yes. you have a plan like that? But that's why, absolutely. Absolutely. You understand? Okay. And so, 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 this is a strategy that is evolving. Mm. We will get there. But I'm saying to you that the but fact but that we say the university... You're saying on record that when the students return to school, there will be constant fumigation. Is that correct? There will be fumigation. Okay. All and right. they have, they, I mean, there will be... It's a continued process. Okay. Other students will come in along the line. Other schools will open. Fumigation is a, is a, continu okay. it's a continual let, process. Let's allow, so let's, to, allow Kwame, to, let's allow Kwame to, to step in. I think that right. I've, I've been magnanimous yeah, enough. You see, to, uh, my, my brother didn't understand me when I said that I, I'm disappointed in the way Parliament handled this. He is disappointed that you are yeah, disappointed. Yeah, well, uh, he's free to do that. Mm. The majority leader, when this thing came up, mm. I'm not sure whether the majority leader was not aware that we were already told that if you took the test mm -hmm. and you have not been contacted by the health authorities, mm -hmm. it means you are free. Right. So those who were contacted knew they had COVID. Mm. Correct. It was after that that the majority leader came and did that press conference with the, what do you call it, the, the public affairs, mm. claiming that Kate, Kate. nobody Kate. was infected. Mm. And then later, they have to backtrack again and say the majority leader is not uh, uh, involved in the daily management of it. We can understand. Mm. Of course, they need to. Clear him one way or the other. The point I'm making is this. You think they were saving the majority leader? Well, that is not my business. That well, is they, their, they their, the members their, of parliament. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, the point is that mm -hmm. I'm saying to the extent that <laughs> leadership knew the individual. Because, look, if it was an issue of like, uh, hypothetically, mm -hmm. there may be some people, he wouldn't have said that. I'm saying that to the extent they knew the people, in fact, some of the orders we have mm -hmm. in our uh, standing orders, can, can even ask speaker to tell you not to even come to the precinct right. of parliament. That's what I mentioned to Pai. So, to the extent that they knew these people, and in fact, I didn't say that uh, parliament didn't tell all of us mm. that, there are some, that, that those who are infected shouldn't come. Mm. But to the extent that they even saw them again, mm. I thought even by making that announcement, just deploy the, the rules we have mm. to prevent them from coming to the to the uh, to, to the prison. As in use and the marshals or exactly no. You don't have to arrest, arrest them. Mm. You know, Mr. X is a COVID. Uh, listen, he comes. He's trying to enter the chamber. Mm. Quietly go to him and say, "My brother, you are positive. We've given you 21 days or so." Did I hear quietly? Mm. Oh no, you can approach him quietly. Did I hear quietly? Yes, yes. Yeah, but that's exactly the point I'm making. Pais, no, I'm telling you. Pais, that. But you him. said that you should be told so that you know. Yes. Allow him to insist. So so right. On Friday, yeah. majority leader said that those individuals, mm. perhaps they've done the quiet one with them, and we are not only talking about MPs. I'm talking about journalists and, and, and staff. staff okay. Are still coming to the house, and I'm saying <clears> that <throat> instead of coming to announce this. Zoom in to onto those people, deploy the standing orders, and uh, compel them. Even if they don't, they don't want to uh, uh, save themselves. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't come to Pius parliament. Says, a... Look, appeal to them. You are, you are your colleagues, so appeal to them publicly and tell them. Who, who, who are you appealing to? Well, I, I mean, they, the people. I'm telling tested... you, we have been told uh, this information has been around for two weeks. These individuals know themselves. Mm -hmm. I don't know <coughs> them. It appears honourable uh, the majority leader knows them, and I'm mm -hmm. saying that. If they are for, even if it's Kwame Abuja, tell him directly. Don't come to the precinct of parliament. That's all we're saying. Okay. I'm not saying the, 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 
leadership didn't mm. tell us what to do and, mm. and things like that. But you see, my brother said something about the fumigation. All right. You see, I am saying to that it's going to be continuous. It, you see, this look, look. He's he's left out a very important thing. Which is my brother. Mm. Maybe you you haven't done it, but if you are the state, eh, you want mm. to pr protect TV3. Mm. The best thing to do would have been to get to know the status of everybody before they come to work. Do you know why? There could be a situation where 200 students of Legon, mm. final year students, are all negative. Mm. One of them could be the one to take it to campus today. They could be checking their temperatures. So, oh, and that's, if you got that's, it, that's if, why if, we have to allow me see, to do my work. I am, okay, so. I am just, I am just advocating for the fact that mm. I like the way you, 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 you put the, yeah, yeah, wear your, your face ma mm. mask, mm. social distancing. We are all uh, 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 doing it. Mm. But you, we are saying that all these students should go back to, to campus. Mm -hmm. And I, I can imagine, stay on campus is more complicated than even parliament. Because they have the same dormitory, they have mm. the same uh, dining halls and other things. Mm. So it is better you know the people's status. If one person is positive, okay. you isolate, isolate that person, person from going to the school. But mm. he's saying, he's saying mm. that they have a strategy. He should look at the board there. By close of today, we might be 12,000. So it is no longer that I, I, I didn't watch, but the president, <laughs> I was told the president said, your, your, defense, your life is in your own hands. Right. It is no longer safe to listen to the government in terms of protecting yourself alone. Because some of the steps they take, oh yes, the World, World Health Organization, <laughs> their decisions, mm. we are all abiding to it. But some of the decisions they take, you need to, you need to take it with a pinch of salt. Because all the steps they've taken, mm. you remember here, mm. they told us they came to some, in fact, him, with some interesting statistics as to how he speaked. Well, but we that's, picked, that, we, that, we, that has been... We that picked. Been, me. Today, have we picked? Is that the pick or is, is the middle? So it is no longer Don't safe to listen to government to, alone to protect to. yourself. Mm. Use your common sense. That's okay. my... Your, your, your discipline will save you. But Paris, let's... Let's no, not do the back and forth. Let's go. <laughs> government says it will distribute PPEs <laughs> to students, at least three per students. Parents will be wondering whether or not the PPEs have been sent to the schools now. So today, as the students go to school, they will start receiving them. And especially for those who are going to write their WASI and BC and, and all of that. Are the PPEs ready for their use? Johnny, from the very start, mm -hmm. we were clear in our minds that fighting COVID-19 was a shared responsibility. Mm -hmm. That the state had its part to play. Mm -hmm. And that as individuals, we have our roles to play. So it is not new what the president said last night about continuing with mm -hmm. taking the protective uh, I mean, uh, actions that we need to take. It's mm -hmm. tried knowledge. Mm -hmm. So this uh, uh, comment that uh, the state says, so you don't have to listen to the state, look at the figures. In fact, we have to look at the figures and give the state some credit mm. that the strategies that the state has unveiled mm. has actually helped Ghana. The, but the numbers are shooting up. I will, I will explain and, and, to and, and that. I will, I will come to that. Don't worry. I'm coming, that. More I'm coming more. to that. I'm coming to that. Yes, it's a, it's a wise explanation. And anybody who has followed this mm. will know that the more you test, the more uh, positive cases you will get. Mm. So the positive cases should not in themselves demoralize us. We should be encouraged that we are... It. John, if you allow me to flow, you will, make, you will understand me. I'm saying that it should not demoralize us. It must actually encourage us that mm. we are able to find out people who may even be asymptomatic, mm. but who still may have had the opportunity to have been spreading the virus. We have identified them and even isolating them from the generality of the public. And that's mm. why all over the world, our strategy of enhanced contact tracing mm. is being commended. Other countries that do not have the kind of numbers mm. that we may be seeing are not using the strategy that we are using. Okay. They are doing the normal routine surveillance of people falling sick, going to the hospital, being tested. If you did that, mm. if Ghana did that, mm. our case counts would have been somewhere around 4,000. But that would have been a big deception. Okay. So, so that is why I say so, that the strategy is good. So now, now the, there's a cabinet minister who has COVID-19 and the concerns on the streets are that he may have sat in cabinet without even knowing that he had COVID-19. And that cabinet could... Once cabinet is shut down, it means that the government will suffer. 
I mean, <laughs> and, and that's a that's a big concern on the streets. Well, this is that's we, what we, let, let's let's chalk that and answer my question quickly on whether the PPEs are available. I will, you know, I've arranged that within the time you give me, I'll deal with Pius. all these matters. Don't worry, don't worry. We, I'll, we even the cabinet one, time on COVID. even this cabinet, because you make passing comments, I have to respond to them. Okay, so I'm saying that our strategy is working. Mm. We have 4,000 recoveries right now. Our active cases, as the board shows, mm. is a little over 7,000. Right. So if you if you look at the figures, what you should actually be saying as a Ghanaian is that the strategy is working. Some of now number two, seven thousand. Now the question are living in their homes. You, you know, you, I have some outstanding questions. Yes, I haven't I'll, dealt I'll, with no, it. No, no, you I'll, keep I'll, loading it. I'll give you time. Okay. Because you mentioned the numbers. Some of these seven thousand, so so and so, are living in their homes. Some in compound houses. Some sharing facilities with people. They don't have an isolation center at home per se. That puts everybody, everybody, the people they live with at a risk. Everybody who has been allowed to self-isolate, mm. the health authorities, and not politicians, mm. the health authorities, the Ghana, uh, the Ghana Health Service, mm. the medical doctors who have been at work, professors who have been at work since the days of yore, make a determination that you are able to sufficiently self-isolate. Mm. And there are people who can self-isolate across the globe. Okay. People have self-isolated in their various residences. So there's no problem. There's no, there's no problem with that okay. at all. So, so that's not a problem. Now, the, the PPEs mm -hmm. actually have been procured, okay. not will be procured. Okay. They have been distributed 6,000 face masks, which means that every one of the 600,000, okay. which means that every one of the 200,000 uh, uh, persons okay. who are With going back, and everybody else. yes, mm. everybody will have at least three pieces of reusable face masks. Okay, we also have procured a, a thermometer guns mm. to test temperature, okay. which is a first point check. Mm. We also have a detergents such as soap. Now, the, the military, the Ghana military, mm. has been coordinating the distribution. Okay. Distribution has gone to all regional centers, all 16 regional mm. centers. And, and the district directors of education mm. are supposed to pick up these uh, uh, PPEs and all do, these do detergents. Do we know if they are in the school? So if I go to Legon today and I get to my hall, um, Commonwealth Hall, will I find face marks there for me? Before you enter no, the hall? No, no, you should, you should, you should. Because you, we are, you are sure. No, we should. I just went. I just walked you through the distribution. Well, but that is, but if, that if, is what if, is on paper. Yeah, but, but on the ground. But I'm not. I, we, we have to go to Legon to answer this question. Okay, it's quite hypothetical. But from the management level. Okay. I've just walked you to what we have done. We have okay. done the distribution, okay. and then the responsibility. So, so they are there. The responsibility as to who goes to pick it from where to there. Those ones, they are the minute details that I am not. Okay. Uh, I, Let's I talk about cabinet this. quickly. And then now this argument of <laughs> Close down this, close down that, close down that. I mean, you say, okay, somebody has contracted uh, COVID-19 mm. uh, in TV3. They may have been working. Shut it down. Uh, parliament, somebody has shut it down. Uh, Ministry of Information, somebody has shut it down. Mm. I mean, I don't think that that is a creative way of resolving challenges. What's the creative problems? The problem is that from the very word go, mm. just like we are doing here, even in cabinet, they take these preventive etiquettes. Mm. So somebody can acquire it maybe because he's the minister for health. Mm. He's in the front line. He's visiting sick patients on the bed. He's dealing with the doctors who are dealing with the, mm. these people on a daily basis. Mm. So he's a right high risk person. There's no doubt about that. Mm. So the fact that he may have contracted that all the meetings that he has gone in, even though mm. these uh, etiquettes were followed, everybody in the meeting may have had it. It's not true. Okay. It's never true. Let when the, uh, the UK Prime Minister mm, Boris, Johnson. Uh, Boris Johnson contracted the virus, did that say that the whole cabinet contracted so they should shut down? No. Okay. Kwame, maybe you have some comments. If not, then we'll move. Yes. We'll, we'll uh, move, uh, well, the UK cabinet was uh, not grouping themselves in the way after the Prime Minister. And mm. if you notice, mm. uh, they, they, they had a few of the interactions uh, uh, on, uh, I mean, uh, using technology. But mm. uh, he said something about uh, the distribution of these items and that uh, all the district directors are supposed to have uh, collected them. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not in a position like him to to determine whether that is the case before the, key, uh, the students walk into the school today. Right. Mm. But they would understand that it is not and uh, those items are not supposed to be collected and sent to the district education offices. No, they are supposed correct. to be at the doors 
of the school before the, the people walk in mm -hmm. this morning. Well, in those details, he says that they, they don't have. So, on, so on it, it is unfair. It is level exactly. So have. it would be unfair to to mm. uh, to proceed any further mm. in terms of what actually is happening. Right. The good thing is that this is Ghana. Mm. By the close of today, we'll know whether all those items were in the schools, okay. not at the offices of the this is directors. Mm. By the time the students uh, uh, come in. Okay. Now, a few weeks ago, I'm sure you do remember that we raised the issue here about the NCC not receiving statutory uh, supplies or, if you like, um, funding for to be able to do their public education. The Church of Pentecost had loaned them some 12 vehicles, adding on to some five that they had to do education around the, the, the whole country. We had raised questions here, and I had asked that question here, indeed, as to why, as of January, uh, March, April, May, and uh, May, well, they hadn't gotten any peswa from government. The good news is that uh, beyond all the backlash and everything else, people asking the NCC boss to think outside the box and to show what they can do and that the NCC is useless and all of that, they've been giving some 2 million and 17, um, 2.17 million Ghana cities to go about their duties. And there's also been loaned 50 Isuzu vehicles. So when we speak, at least uh, <laughs> they, they listen to us when we speak they listen to us i remember uh, richard nyama was here he says the ncc should think outside the box richard Ajahanyagba was here he says they should think outside the box i'm sure Piles was here so i said oh we can't have money to do everything at the same time finally we have money Piles, what do you say Jody, uh, you cannot be sure about this if you're unsure don't uh, don't say because i've been working with the ncc mm. If, if I'm not sure, if I'm not sure about things that I have said, you said okay. you are sure that Paris was here. I wasn't here to say. Oh, that. you were you were not here. I wasn't to here. say I that have said we can't have all the money. I can't, I couldn't. With respect to the NCC, mm. I couldn't have said that because I've been working with the NCC. In so fact, we can, we can play back the fact, audio. Yes, we will play sure. back. I mean, we the, the NCC, the two million that they have been given, mm. I'm not sure is what they requested for. And no, I can give that's, you what not, that's not the request. That's so, what they requested. So the, let me just do so, this. So right. hold on for me. There's a, a bit of background as well. I interviewed Madame Josephine Nkrumah on this screen, Laura Josephine Nkrumah on this screen in the morning, and she mentioned how she was frustrated because she had only given 100 Ghana cities per district from what they originally have to every district to buy PPEs and all of that. So for me, this is good news even though I think it's coming very, very late. And even though yesterday I was happy that, you remember my talk about um, the president speaking local dialects in his addresses, and people said, oh, the Bureau of Languages would do. Yesterday the president spoke in Peckable Tree and Ghan. So it's not the first time. The president well, does that all the time. Well, he, the president will speak English and finish and says, Nyamaka Imundiso, no ni yiyano. But yesterday he did about six, seven bullet points. And for me, that's good news that when I speak, people listen. It's good. It helps all of us. But let's talk about NCC <laughs> and the vehicles and the money. You appear to be wanting some credits. No, it is, we give it to you, no it, problem. No. We are a listening government. So even from Johnny, everybody, we will listen to you, no problem. Okay. But the NCC problem, okay. the NCC matter. Okay. Maybe you have to hold on a bit for me. Sorry about that. Let's cross over to the Western region where we, uh, we have a reporter at the residence of the uh, late MC for the Secondary Takrade Metropolitan Assembly, the Honorable KK Sam. Uh, Monica is standing by there to give us live updates. We're told that the late MC uh, I'm currently and, at the and residence from COVID of the former MCE the line for SCMA, Secondary Takrade, um, the late Anthony KK Sam. Um, we are here this very morning to interact with the family as we head off his dismiss that was on Friday evening. Just the next day, which is Saturday, a lot of people came in here, loved ones came in here to also give their words of condolence. As we can see, his picture is mounted up here and we have the book of condolence here for people to sign and show love. I have with me the widow, Mrs. Sam, and her two children with her. Shedding, my shedding, my shedding, shedding. It, 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 in fact, it's it's not easy. It's not easy in here um, for one to lose a loved one. It's never, never easy. But we, we will still talk to the family to know um, how it's happened, especially as yesterday, the president of the Republic, Nana Akufu Adu, 
also gave his condolence whilst he was interacting with us, giving us updates on COVID-19 issues. Um, ma, yeah, yeah ma, why? Na um ye nim say a dear to muni na we de yes rebisa say and can ye bow bit me up on tofa ka crebi a de a my sam kick sam eh my ho can bayana say na no ho and fano but covid in the bayano si de biano to make office, no, no, I request this. Oh, my test, well, no office, the whole staff to one by no, no, I'm say driver, no, any positive, no, no, any negative. I'm so that's a bank one, and then driver, and then positive there. Now, but I said, I will be a negative. And see, I request it for another test, no, I'm by the whole house, and also over and almost see a negative. I'm so okay. So, but. I said, she didn't have to no home for no. Nah, yeah, you didn't call hospital. If you hospital, no, nah, almost you call a fian quant, you call the hospital, a private hospital, near the call a fian quant. I call a fian quant almost say, you're funny cocoa, but no fian quant almost a estuary. No, almost say, when you're pneumonia, so I know I'm a catch ray. Nah, almost say, uncle, a cra. See, you drag cra no. No, my dear. Now, I'm saying make us all new TV. So now make us say we are done. Now you are done. Now I'm saying you call. We are done. I'm call her. I'm call her. You are done. I'm call her. Me be said doctor. So I say Papa no buy any maintenance car. Now me buy na me be said I say. Now I'm saying no way. No way. Now I'm so okay. Now doctor buy a common number. I say I am fresh. If you don't know, I'm saying I make a me a mistake or say a yard than I'm so good. If you don't know, I'm more from say young corner, papa, and he had blood. Nay, a coy, my day, my baba, a coco, a colobu, oh, my yard blood, maybe in tea, or no, no, Trinity, or the man. Now, your fret a crowd this month, be him so coach on a tacradi, ma, or my debai. You are my debai near the call hospital honour, or my GC or normal so I'm over. And see, I'm a buyer, nurse back on the doctor back on. Oh, yeah, if you had done. Oh, Marcus, I can say, Mammy, we saw almost empty. We're free, ma. We were so high. And I'm so, yeah, dear, I'm here, see. I'm in funny currency, I'm also doctors, and I mean, sure. Near the buy. When I'm a kind of a sabo. Yeah, they are calling him so almost say, doctors, missing pneumonia. Now, yeah, 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 almost say, eh, COVID, no. Say, a COVID, a crown. Sir, you're going to see China, but you Ghana, Hano. You're going to say, Sabi, 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 Penny for any Miss Ramaka. Covid to me, you drank a punch, cry my uncle with the Nipano. Covid to me, Fano. It is a Covid. Okay, welcome back. So, those were sights and sounds from the secondary Takradi Metropolitan Municipal Assembly. I beg your pardon, where uh, we're told of the demise of the former MCE, the Honorable uh, KK Sam, who was a staunch member of the MPP as well, one of the key founding fathers. Then, yesterday, the president eulogized him. Let's take some of your messages, and when we come back, we will uh, listen to the NCC a bit from the, uh, the Deputy Minister and uh, the Honorable Kwame Abuja as well. Messages. Right, a few messages this morning. Matthias Bukai writes to us from Timpani. Good morning, TV3 New Day. Testing is not immunization indeed. Paris has made my day. Hashtag formal for Nana. Good morning, Johnny. I like the way you ask your questions. In fact, you are a person that I admire when it comes to interrogating uh, your panelists. May God bless you. Nuhu from Offenso. The initial denial by the health minister that he was having COVID-19 and only for the president to wish him speedy recovery from coronavirus infection has shown that the health Minister lied to Ghanaians, and this should not be entertained now that we are fighting stigmatization. Kofi Seidu from uh, Asara Azuma Stephen in Boko. Johnny, good morning to you and your panelists. Tell Honorable Piles that if parliamentary leaders cannot declare the COVID 19 status of members, then the majority leader should not have said no one in parliament tested positive only to accept later what does the law do to parliamentarians who have tested positive and refuse to declare their status and self-quarantine or isolate good morning mr host please ask my brother 
Voltarian Piles. What is the scores for COVID-19? What measures have they put in place to end the pandemic? Because day in, day out, the numbers are shooting up. From John Bosco in Abokobi, the MPs must come out and declare their COVID status as the health minister has done. And people should not do politics when MPs declare their status. The MPs must themselves be responsible in declaring their COVID-19 status and staying away from parliament if tested positive. If MPs can't be honorable, then Ghanaians are not safe. So for uh, Yamusa in Kumbugu. Uh, Farouk Tamale North. Good morning. Yes, the wearing of face masks is compulsory now, but government must provide more face masks to Ghanaians, especially the rural areas where poverty is pandemic. From Isa Abuabo, is the COVID-19 safety measures safe enough? How come the health minister tested positive or he has... He was not adhering to the safety measures. He should keep resting in the green book, UGMC. Johnny aspires if ask Pius if he recovered from Honorable Felix humiliation on news file. Oh. Good morning Johnny. to you all. My <laughs> name is Junior from Techiman. Why is the government now allowing students to go to school whilst the numbers of the cases keep on increasing? If he thinks that putting on nose masks and sanitizing your hand can help us to overcome this pandemic, why then? close the schools. Teachers in private schools, uh, private high schools, have not received four months salary and what is he doing about it because it also contributes to the educational system. Let me take the last one. Johnny, mm. you will be amazed when you see persons being picked up by the contract contact tracing team, soldier, police, doctors, etc. as if those persons are armed robbers. Now the parliamentarians who have tested positive want to tell us they are superhuman so they can ignore self-quarantine. That'll be all for me. Okay, Jesus. Rambo style, you say. Yes. Um, we're told we have three minutes left. Maybe I'll share 1.5, 1.5. Sorry about that, gentlemen. Uh, Pius, NCC matters are well, First of all, I think that it's work in progress. We mm. must commend and congratulate the NCC. The Ministry of Information has been at the lead of public education. Okay. And we have been working closely with the NCC. This is not the first time that any resource is being given to the NCC to work with. We have, at the ministry level, we have mm. continued to work with them. We have hived for off. this year. Yes, for the for the for the mm. COVID nineteen public the, because education. Because Justin Nkrumah says she has not received a penny. She said that here. No, I'm saying that resources ago. is not just money. Okay, so but, we but have she was talking about resources. money. Yeah, but I'm saying that money comes in bits and pieces. Okay, and so but we have been mobilizing. This, have they been giving any money? They have a budget. They have been running. But have they, they been have... giving any money? Do you know statutory obligation to them from the state? Do you know that the NCC has they been have giving, been giving money for this year? Because she said. From the beginning of this year up until this time, they hadn't received a penny. And relative to COVID-19 education or yes. relative to their budget? COVID-19 education yeah, but I'm and saying for their you, budget, their own budget. Well, I cannot speak to their budget, okay. but relative to the COVID-19, mm. even at the ministry level, we have collaborated with the NCC, we have provided logistics, mm. okay? The vehicles that you speak for, for instance, I was involved in negotiating some of these releases. It's not just the Pentecostal, the mm. Ghana Revenue Authority, for instance, mm. the Ghana Education Service. Planting for food and jobs, the vehicles. We have marshaled a pool of vehicles. Mm. The Pentecost Church came in to help. They have some of those vehicles. Mm. We also have some. From, from the ministry's funding, the budget that we have, we have given some responsibility mm. to the NCC mm. and we have given them some money as well. So okay. the money is trickling in. It's not just lying down there. So you go and pick it and you start running. Okay. And that's how we mobilize because we have to collect the taxes. But why why are they being loaned the vehicles for three months? When yeah, because the, they are not it's the not minister their, says the virus has come to stay with us. Well, why I'm are they being those vehicles the are not their vehicles, they are okay. they are loans. We mm. are we are marshalling resources. Like I said to you right now, mm. we have used planting for food and jobs uh, vehicles. Mm. We have used NADMO vehicles. Okay. We have used Ghana Education Service vehicles. Mm. We have used vehicles that belong to the district assemblies. We have okay. used vehicles of the Pentecost, okay. the Ghana revenue authority and so on and so on. Okay. We are creating a pool of resources. Okay. Okay. So we are unable, you know, as a developing country mm. to solve all the myriads of problems we have mm. at the stroke of a pen. It's a gradual process. Mm. And if you notice how these institutions, the ISD, the NCC, mm. were run down in times past, mm. you know that we have a tall order. Well, but Mustafa Amid, that the Dr. Mustafa Amid, that is vetting in Parliament, said they were going to revamp the ISD. Yes. And uh, but I have not seen that revamp. No, yes, because they have we, only we, five vehicles. No, uh, we, for no, example, no, NCC correct. has five vehicles. No, but that, only that's for the, the whole nation. That's the NCC. The ISD was run aground. It is taking us time and effort 
to revamp and revitalize and retool. So why don't we buy the NCC vehicles, for example? Because if they well, have that's only five vehicles... that's a matter for their budgeting and their processes. The mm. NCC is not an agency of the Ministry of Information. Right. The NCC is an independent organ of but state. They of need to plan right. their priorities if they feel that they want to buy vehicles. That's the, I don't know their plans. How long should they be begging? Well, I, I, I don't know how long... <laughs> I don't know whether they have been begging in the first place. I don't know how long they should be begging. These are, I think that they are not... Uh, they, they are not they are not fair questions. No we agency in this country. <laughs> yes. No agency. My question parliament. is about resources <laughs> no, the NCC. No, no, it, doesn't, it doesn't have to be your question. The, okay. que the general question of how long should they be begging. Parliament will tell you that they don't get enough resources. The Ministry of Information will tell you they don't get. Mm. Ministry of Health. Ministry of Education. We are a developing country. Mm. Myriads of needs. If, let, 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 if, let, if let, I may just finish. Let, let me ask you. If, if I may just if finish. You are, if you are Johnny, the chairperson of the NCC. Yes. And he had only five vehicles to reach every corner of this country. Sixteen regions. Would you be would you be saying the same things? Well, I'm now? saying to, I'm saying to you that every institution in this country is talented. You have not said my question. Though. No, I, I don't, if you are the chairperson of the NCC, but I, 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 have, listen to you. said every institution is challenged. If it's yes. under him, oh no, under re relax. But you have not answered my question. It's a historical. It's a, it's, so you're not solving it. Oh, but I'm saying we are solving. It's a process. Okay. It's a process. Okay. Parliament, they will tell you that they don't get all the budgetary requirements. Okay. Ministry of Information, we don't get all the all the budgetary requirements that we need. Mm. It doesn't mean that we are begging. Begging who? It is our taxes that we put together. If you say, how long should they continue begging? Begging mm. who? Okay, so my question is, if you were the chairperson of the NCC, would you be speaking the same way this morning? That you have only five vehicles to reach six. But I am regions. the Deputy Minister of Information, the ISD that is under me. We don't have enough vehicles. Okay? Mm. We do, the, he is a member of parliament. Parliament doesn't have all the resources that it needs. But we are making progress as a country. And that's what I'm saying that you ask me, that uh, is it fair? I just, I, uh, would I be speaking this way mm. or they are begging? I say it's not a fair question. Okay. All right. Thank you. Kwame, take a bite on it. The NCC has gotten some help finally. But the vehicles have been loaned to them, as Paris has explained to us. Um, it's been loaned because we have had to pull it together. After three months, they will have to let it go. Well, first of all, I, I find it difficult to understand the essence of what much of what communication uh, the information ministry does do you know why not because no. of the people there mm -hmm. but because government have repeatedly employed dozens of people mm. for the ministers and agencies already so i sometimes apart from what he and his uh, his boss does mm. ask myself what is the what is the use of the ministry that's not fair hold on let me tell you every minister have got somebody who speaks for him All right okay every ministry every uh, agency have got Communication or uh, PR right. department. Right. No, no, no. He doesn't understand, he understand. how it works. Okay. That is why so news I'm, 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 I'm staff of the Ministry of Information allow him to make his point. <laughs> so what about the ones that are following <laughs> the ministers? And so you are saying <laughs> duplicity of roles? Of course, it, it course. doesn't. It doesn't arise. It's see, a lack of knowledge. Let me take a look. Instead of the ministry, instead of the ministry having you have it. No, no, but 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 allow him. Allow him. He just is not the ministry. Instead of the ministry and the agencies have been run down. But he's he, uh, looking at you. You don't look like somebody who is a, a money and ministry. No, but this is totally no, random. No, you no, look like somebody no. whose ministry must be doing very well. Oh, oh. But it's personal. <laughs> it's personal. <laughs> Listen, the government, the government grossly undermined NCC mm. under Article 233 for a long time. And I want to thank you and uh, TV3 for advocacy. Mm. We sat here. Okay, finally, they have gone to repaint some few vehicles mm. belonging to some other people to give them. I agree with him. Even if it's for three months, mm. it's better than when they were having nothing. All right. Uh, but just to remind him and the country, mm. Mm. this country gave the NPP 1.2 billion Ghana CD mm. from the stabilization fund. All right. We gave the, the uh, uh, IMF or World Bank gave them another one billion dollars so we should use all that to buy and then and then hold on mm. and then they've gone to bank of ghana to take in when i'm to speaking take... when he's talking and i can't no, 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 allow him allow no, no, no. him uh, uh, you see Johnny, it's, it's a conversation when i tell him allow him allow him uh, but when he's stopping uh, you i i also tell him to do, allow okay. you don't do oh pious uh mr hughes yes sir the bank of ghana is also printing another 10 billion so in effect because of COVID, NPP have got 16.7 billion. We can't, we can't use all oh, the money for, but, for one thing. Oh, hold on. I'm not saying. Mm. This is not look, true. Look, what is look, 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 look. Is it not true that? Uh, but but we're not using all the money oh, for one thing. I'm saying, uh, but who said they should use all the money to buy PPE? Okay. I'm saying that because of COVID, that we have got NPP have got 16.7 billion. It's not true. Ah, when you came for it's the 1.2 billion, uh, 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 no, it's not, what Mr. Hughes, Mr. Hughes, he said it's not true. Do fact checking. Is it true that 
We gave uh, them uh, 1.2 billion from yeah. the stabilization fund because of COVID. Mm. Eh? No, ask the, ask no, I don't answer questions. You know. No, you should. Oh, you should. You should no, be a citizen. I, I don't answer questions. Is it true? Is it not true that uh, uh, IMF World Bank gave them 1 billion dollars? Okay. The is it not true? I'm sure the citizens are answering. Exactly. So, is so that, if so you, the two, the if two, you, if you, if the two you have put together if, is 16 billion. If, no, and then that, the 10 billion. That your mathematics? The 10 billion. What, what Bank of Ghana? The what 10. Oh, my brother, I'm saying that. Ah, you're in government. Don't you know your own figures? The Bank of Ghana is funding you another 10 billion. So you have 16 billion because of COVID alone. Uh, no yeah. government can. But guess what? They are unable to even account for what they do with the money. So you you breach the NCC law, and then you are telling me that because you repainted some old vehicles we, for we, them, they should be clapping for you. NCC law. No. Okay. Article 233. That one. The functions of the NCC, yes. you actually undermine them. But what are the functions? Okay, well, hold on. The, if you read Article 233, B. To educate, encourage the public to defend this constitution in all time against all forms of abuse. See, <laughs> to formulate for the constitution. Oh, no, 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 let's no. See, let me listen what to you. What, what, what are you doing? No, I'm reading to you their functions. What you are, what okay. you are pretending you are doing. <laughs> we will read the constitution later. Thank you very much to the Honorable Pius Enam Hachide is a Deputy Minister for Information of the Republic of Ghana. And also Kwame Agboja is a Member of Parliament for the... <laughs> Good people of Adaklu, around here we call him Adaklu Messiah. He'll shake his head, look at him. Yeah, look at him. Bend the wishes to who? Bend the wishes to who? Bend the wishes to who? Quickly. Johnny. Yes. Bend the wishes to who? You see, in conclusion. Oh no, you are not. In conclusion.